Welcome back, welcome back people to MG Sports TV. I don't know if this is good news, I don't know if this is bad news, I don't know. This kind of left me in our, mm, uh, mm, what really are going on, what's really going on? But, we all know how this thing set up, we all know. Sometimes this cryptic message means nothing, but sometimes they obviously mean something. Big up on yourself people, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, since you're here. You're already here, so hit the like button, people. I would really appreciate it if you do so. Mason Greenwood comments. Let me just put it up on the screen. So, as you know, the Jamaica Reggae Boys team, the Jamaica national team, the Reggae Boys, just finished third place in the CONCACAF Nations League. Now, apparently, all the boys are posting about the love for Jamaica and how proud they feel to accomplish the title the, the, the trophy and just to be a part of the team everyone that is their talking point based according to their social media posts now we don't call it out of the woodwork here comes mason greenwood running in the final third just as he approached the, the edge edge of the 18 yard box he plots over the ball with a beautiful left foot of his he hit the ball in the top bins straight under the comment section of Deshaun Bernard and when he scored that goal in the comment section a plethora of reggae boy supporters were attacking were attacking him you know because of the celebration big big celebration in the comment section all the reggae boys fans running on hugging up Mason Greenwood um saying that we want to hear we want to see you here we have a jersey for you people are saying we have the number seven jersey for you ready <laughs> I can imagine we have the number 7 jersey for you ready that is the approach I'm seeing in the comment section after Mason Greenwood scored that wonderful goal under Deshaun Bernard post as you can see Mason Greenwood commented love it what does it mean with a heart <clears throat> love it with a heart is this a cryptic message that something is boiling in the dark is this a cryptic message no i do know i want you guys to understand we have seen these type of messages before whenever there's a particular player connected or linked with the reggae bo um reggae boys are saying that the scouting is going on whatever what is going on you find out that whenever we achieve something um in the region or whatever win a big game or something like that and the reggae boys consistently posting there are all of these players that have heavily links are heavily linked to joining the national team are always coming out out of nowhere throwing some little you know some little daggers showing them can't show in but this time out of nowhere here comes mason greenwood now the reason for this the reason for the excitement surrounding mason greenwood it's solely because he's a player that is well loved by the Jamaica fan base and guess what he's a player that I do believe can contribute significantly to this team I was told today that hey <laughs> come on come on come on Mason Greenwood we have a number seven jersey for you <laughs> waiting <laughs> I'm, I'm just laugh I'm even even you run a joke with somebody else I'm just laugh at me and say yo Jamaican people are easy you know you see this this victory i do believe that this victory would have put um brought some of the players closer together you you have seen the bonding that's taking place online um regarding the players they are showing a bit of camaraderie they're showing that the chemistry is high they're showing that the moral is high and other players are seeing this and saying you know what i want to be a part of that that's what they're saying i want to be a part of that that looks good it's not just winning because remember that we lost a game versus USA but the players still um, post their messages and you can clearly see that the interactions are still there so, which means that the players are loving what's happening right now they're into what's happening and apparently as you can see other players who are highly connected are highly linked to switching allegiance to the Jamaica team is very much interested in what's happening that could only send one message that hey we see what's happening and strong possibility we might or want to be a part of what's happening now i know i understand that a lot of the jamaican um, fan supporters are saying you know what 
want to see this happening, we're, we're dying to see this happening. And funny enough, this is a question that has been thrown at Al Grimson on multiple occasions surrounding Mason Greenwood. Will we see most Mason Greenwood? What's happening with Mason Greenwood? And the coach already says that, hey, he's a player that we really like and we would love to have that player in our team because of the quality that he has. Now, with Mason Greenwood coming out and doing this now, one, it's playing with the fans' emotions, <laughs> giving conflicted feelings. We get the same feeling. Me, I say, yo, me, I say, Jano, sir. Me, I say to myself, one, if this really real, I'm wondering if this is really real. I wonder if this is going to happen. Will this happen? Can this happen? So just imagine all the supporters now. This is just, this is just consistently flicking in their head. And then you start to think now, if we had Macy Greenwood in one of those two games, what could happen? Copa is coming up. The big, big Copa is coming up. Can we afford, can we get Macy Greenwood into the squad by Copa America? And, but that, and in that competition, they'd have a bit more time together to train, to all, do all those type of stuff. That is the big, big question. <laughs> now, I know that a lot of supporters are are, 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 are are wondering, will it happen? I don't know. I hope so. I really, really hope so. This is a question that has been asked by many, many persons. For me personally, I have no information around missing Grudu. The last time I was I heard was that they are trying to see if they can acquire his his allegiance or his his go ahead to say yes, I'm ready. That's what I've told. But other than that, I have no information. What I do know is that these cryptic messages is kind of clearing the water a bit to say, you know what? Even though there's nothing concrete out there, even though there's nothing concrete out there, this is an eye-opener that something could be happening behind the scenes. And me, personally, I'm happy for it. <laughs> I'm very happy for it. I would love to see him come. Um, nevertheless, I do believe that we have to... There's areas in the team that we need to strengthen. And this competition, this last competition, would have showcased that we definitely need to strengthen, especially in the attacking force. And I believe that he would be a tremendous, tremendous acquisition to our national team. I strongly believe so. Now, the big aspect is... As many said, he w I, a lot of persons say that he won't see about the England team. But are we really sure about that? Yes, we understand the situation that what took place. But are we really, really 100% concrete sure? I don't think we are. But we're assuming that um, that could be the case. We're just assuming that. I, for one, kind of slightly assume the same thing. Just I'm, But I'm very much hopeful that he would see the light and say, you know what? Reggae boys it is. For me, in my view... This is a cryptic message, and this cryptic message can send the mind many, many places. And I strongly believe that something could be in it, people. Something could be, be in it. I'm not telling you this to get your hopes up, you know. But I'm just saying, take it with a pinch of salt that something could be into it. Tell us what you think in the comment section, people. Big up on yourself. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time. We're out. Boom. God bless. Good morning. If you're watching in the morning, good afternoon. If you're watching in the afternoon, good evening or good night. If you're watching in the evening hours, big up people, MG Sports TV. We're out. God bless. Boom.